biggest prehistoric ocean animals that ever existed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa. Did you know that right now you're sharing the planet with the largest animal to have ever existed? Write your guesses as to what that animal is in the comments down below and that answer coming up later. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any brand new content. Megalodon. Let's launch into this list of ocean animals with the most well-known of the lot, and that one that tops most people's nightmare lists. So the Megalodon is a giant white shark. Not great, giant. All the features of a great white shark, rows of razor teeth, speed, apex predator brain, but with a bus size presence. They lived about 25 to 1.5 million years ago, so actually 40 million years after the last dinosaur, but possibly sharing the planet with the first humans. They preferred warm water, so it's thought that the last ice age is what ended their reign of terror. Thank goodness. Shastasaurus. These guys look like dolphins, but are actually the largest marine reptile species that ever existed. Also known as the Ichthyosaurus, they could reach 65 feet and were rather slender in profile. Despite having such a size advantage, these predators were actually suction feeders, eating mainly fish. They lived during the Triassic period over 200 million years ago and dominated oceans near the US, China, and Canada. Coelacanth. The coelacanth gets the prize for the greatest comeback and reaches an impressive age. Scientists thought the coelacanth went extinct 65 million years ago, during the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. But these crafty creatures were just hiding out until 1938 when they were rediscovered. What makes them so interesting is that they've been around for 407 million years. These bony fish can live up to 60 years, grow up to 6 feet and are literally an evolutionary link that can't be explained. It's complicated, but here are the basics. The coelacanth's fins propel them with the alternative movement of the fore and back legs, which looks like walking, and it's an unexplained link with them to four-legged amphibians. These fish come in all sorts of sizes and are believed to be monogamous. Leopleurodon. Leopleurodon translated means smooth-sided teeth. And these deep sea dwellers had a pointy snout full of sharp teeth and a similar fast burst attack protocol like a crocodile. They were also huge, with a debate between scientists on just how big, but the estimates range from 20 to 50 feet. Even at 20 feet, they could swallow a man whole, so that's a little disconcerting. Ammonite. These extinct fossils may not have been huge, but they're worth a mention. Ammonites were around 400 million years ago, which is helpful to paleontologists, who use them to help date rocks based on what ammonite species is found in the rock. Dacosaurus. The Dacosaurus can most closely be compared to the modern crocodile, but it was larger, reaching 16 feet in length. It was found across Europe, and its reptile mixed with a fish body made it an apex predator in the sea during the Jurassic period. Their name means biter lizard, and their teeth were first discovered in Germany. Dunkelosteus. These armored giant fish could grow to 20 feet and are part of a group of fish known as placoderms. Dunkelosteus had a sharp, bony plate where his teeth would be, with strong jaws that could crush anything in his path. The fangs of this strong fish were self-sharpening, and it's possible they were cannibalistic. Bacillosaurus. This looks like a crocodile and a dolphin had a love child, and the Bacillosaurus was it. But it's actually part of the whale family. I know, it's all a bit confusing. It was 50 to 85 feet long with a mouthful of crocodile teeth, but it luckily wasn't able to navigate like modern whales or echolocate, so slightly less terrifying. Thalassimedon. Thalassimedon means sea lord in ancient Greek and was a species of pleosaur. These giant predators could reach lengths of 40 feet with flippers that are seven feet long, allowing it to be an apex predator of the depths with precision navigation. It remained top of the food chain through the late Cretaceous period. Chronosaurus. Chronosaurus was found in the land down under, Australia, and was larger than life. It measured 30 feet long, its head alone was 9 feet, and its longest tooth was just under a foot. 
Because of the shape of their flippers, they were thought to have the same reproduction habits as modern-day sea turtles and would crawl up onto the beach to lay eggs. Elasmosaurus. So, pleosaurs were short-necked, swimming dinos. Their long-necked cousins were plesiosaurs, like the Elasmosaurus. This giraffe of the deep reached lengths of 35 feet, and 20 feet of that was neck. Its neck was made up of 72 vertebrae, which is the largest vertebrae number of any known animal. Many illustrations of the Elasmosaurus have shown its neck as curvy or S-shaped. But scientists have worked out that their necks weren't very flexible at all. However, scientists haven't yet figured out why they had such long necks. Yekalopterus renaniae Imagine an eight-foot armored sea scorpion, and you have got an idea of the terror of this oceanic prehistoric animal. It's one of the two largest arthropods to have ever lived, and they went extinct long before the dinosaurs during the Permian-Triassic extinction event. They are thought to be related to horseshoe crabs. Another bonus to quell your nightmares is that they weren't necessarily venomous, or at least there's no solid evidence to prove it. Nothosaurus. The 13-foot-long Nothosaurus were aggressive hunters armed with a mouthful of sharp, pointy teeth that jut outwards. The teeth orientation suggests that it had a diet of squid and fish. It used an ambush method to catch prey with the advantage of its sleek reptilian figure to sneak up and grab it. They were found in the deep ocean and lived during the Triassic period over 200 million years ago. Sea jellies. Sea jellies have been around for 500 million years and will probably be here for 500 million more. These simple, soft-bodied creatures are 95% water and have a simple structure which is their greatest advantage. Their basic network of neurons allows them to sense the environment for survival, but it's not particularly fussy about the environment and can adapt really well. So increase in temperature, lack of oxygen, acidic, or change in salinity doesn't really affect them, and they can thrive where many marine animals are struggling. So their numbers are on the increase. It seems like it's viva jellyfish for the foreseeable future. Mauisaurus. This ocean giant could have had a neck of nearly 50 feet long, which is at odds with its body, which was another 16 feet more, bringing the average length to about 66 feet. Its neck was packed with vertebrae, making it really flexible. The easiest way to describe it is a snake up front and a turtle in the back. The Mauisaurus got its name from the Maori god, Maui. The legend says that Maui used a fish hook and pulled the islands of New Zealand up from the sea floor. That's quite a job, so you know this was a big dino. Tylosaurus. The Tylosaurus sat firmly at the top of the marine food chain for millions of years during the late Cretaceous period in the seas that covered North America. It was a species of Mosasaur, reaching enormous lengths of more than 50 feet. The Tylosaurus really had the run of the roost during his era when it came to what they ate, and they enjoyed a diverse diet of sharks, smaller mosasaurs, fish, plesiosaurs, and even some flightless birds. Canistrophius. Well, if you saw this massive, long-necked, dino-iguana-like creature heading for you, we're sure you'd be ready to run. The Tanistrophius was not strictly marine. It was more amphibian, so adapted for land, but good in water too, so no one is safe. Luckily for us, it preyed mostly on fish, and scientists predict it spent most of its time in water. Its scaly body reached 20 feet long, and it walked and swam the Earth during the Triassic period, nearly 215 million years ago. Helicoprion. Mix a shark with power tools, and you have got the Helicoprion. This horrifying apex predator had a tooth whirl, which is a word I'm pretty sure was made up specifically to describe this creature. Worst of all, it was not a small, power-tooth-wielding fish. It grew about 15 feet long. These teeth were serrated, so they had a taste for flesh and were carnivores. But scientists still debate whether the tooth whirl was in the front or back of the mouth. If at the back, it might have preferred softer meals like jellyfish. Regardless, this creature must have lived in the deep, as it survived the Permian-Triassic extinction. Mosasaurus here is another megalithic marine predator, the Mosasaurus, that also grew to about 50 feet, which seems to be the gold standard for many creatures on this list. Mosasaurus lived in the Cretaceous period and boasted a crocodile head with hundreds of razor-sharp teeth lining it inside, ready to cut through anything and make a meal of it. Those are a lot of really big and, quite frankly, terrifying animals so far, and we still have one more to go. But first, let's talk about the largest animal to have ever existed. It's currently still on the planet. It's the blue whale. Its heart alone is 1,300 pounds, 
and at 100 feet long, it's bigger than anything we've talked about so far. 1. Liviatin melvilli Liviatin melvilli is a whale that feasted on other whales. It also lived in the same area and during the same time as the megalodon, so it had some decent competition. But the Liviatin took the competition with Megalodon in its stride as it had a few trump cards to play. Firstly, it had the largest teeth of any animal ever. These gnashers reached 14.3 inches. I know, you're thinking about maybe elephant tusks right now, but don't. Elephants don't eat with those teeth. They just smash things with them. The Liviatin was basically the best traits of the orca and the sperm whale jammed into one apex predator. For example, it used echolocation like modern toothed whales, so it was adapted for murky water. Even its name was a mashup of two big players, Leviathan, the giant sea monster in the Bible, and Herman Melville, the creator of Moby Dick.